All right, so the wig wags were unsuccessful. They mount fine, the mechanism mounts fine where it needs to mount, but it is so close to here. You can see the cam right there, almost hits this. I mean, comes really close, but then it jams. I have to find a different way to do that. Um, like I said, it works for a short period of time and then it quits and then it jams itself up. You do not want it jamming in the head when the head is all put together. Um, this is the gyro motor. I've got it mounted right now. And uh, let me show you guys something here. Um, let me flip this around. Hold on just a second here. All right, so we're going to have... Hopefully I won't make a mess here. Um, but if you turn on the battery power, okay, you got your, your sack valves going perfectly. Um, these are going to be stationary for now, the wig wags. You can see the gyro spin in here on top of the head. And of course, these wires then would go up into the bulb and like the bulb is. So we got the spin. The problem is the shaft on the bottom of the bell here. It's too short to engage with this due to the thickness of the head. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to print another bell and then I'm going to um, just take this shaft area, just, just the center shaft where my finger is. Let's show you my finger in there. Right there. So you'll see the shaft right here. Oh, I don't have a long enough finger. Anyway, you can see the shaft right there. So I'm just going to print the bell, not the gears and stuff, but just the center shaft right there and cut it out and then I'll glue it to this shaft and make an extension so that it's um, you know, about that much farther. That will then engage with that spinning, whatever you want to call it. See it spinning right there? I don't have it far enough down to engage. And then the crown here then will set like this. On top. Let me put the cord down for a second. All right, hold on just a second. Should have been born an octopus. All right, so that's the crown gear right there, and then this is what the bell sits down. So that shaft slides over this one all the way down to where that rotating area is down there. And the problem is, of course, is it's too short. So what's happening is my bell sits here, but my shaft only sits there. My shaft doesn't engage down there, so I need to make an extension. And then this sits down on top of the crown gear. This is then glued in place and stays stationary. As the bell turns, those little gears then engage this gear tooth here, the teeth, and then that causes the gyros to spin. Anyway, at this point, that's where I'm at. Um, I'm really glad to be encountering all these problems right now because I can figure them out and then I can fix the problems. And um, it takes time to do it. And I've spent a lot of time on these wigwags. Now I'm gonna start uh, getting the wiring for the gyros done. I'm gonna get the, um, the wiring harness built so that I can have the sax valves running and the gyros running and get the wiring harness also to the, um, to the blasters and to the spinning rings. And we'll go from there. And uh, what's going to be really nice, too, another thing is I'm working on is right here below the sax valve, you got your hole, and that's where the, uh, the LED is going to sit. And I've got a whole bunch of these, uh, these white LEDs. Just got to find them here. I do apologize for all the movement. Like I said, I'm not an octopus. So I've got these 10 millimeter LEDs here. And they're going to sit right in here. And I'm actually going to use the rotation of the, um, the, the uh, sax valve shaft. And I'm going to attach a piece to it that will go to a micro switch. So that when these go in a certain order, that will come engage with the micro switch and cause the lights behind here to light up. So this will be sitting like this. And then, of course, these will all light up underneath it and and they'll blink i'm gonna try to do it just like in the movie so that's where i'm at right now um a lot of thinking to do right now a lot of experimenting to do and then i'll post some videos of the progress that i've made okay all right if you have any questions be sure to ask um end the video happy printing